Alright, this is Maricopa Live Steamer's 2024 Winterfest Operations Meet. Now, this isn't your typical meet. You have people come from different places to operate their equipment, but this is railroad operations basis. This place, and at least Train Mountain do this, have an event like this. This is in the winter, Train Mountain does theirs in the summer. So, Let's take a look at some of the equipment around here while it's still early and not many people are here. And enjoy the show. So, there was plenty of equipment around sitting in the yard. Apparently this was one of the smaller meets is from what I've been told. Usually during the operations meets there is a lot more equipment and it's jam-packed full. But I call this a nice introduction into this kind of a meet. So the, everyone who came to the meet or even just club members allowed their equipment to be used for freight operations. They were set out on the many various spurs that the club has on their track and they were picked up or dropped off accordingly. You go out with a cut of five cars and you come back with a set of five. Each one goes to a different division, and it makes for a lot of fun. There are freight trains which don't operate on the schedule, and then passenger trains which do operate on the schedule. Today we'll talk about the freight trains. I will be tagging along to be part of a crew with two new friends of mine I made at Maricopa Live Steamers. So, without any further ado, Let's get out on the main line and start doing some road switching. First thing to do was go to the staging yard and pick up a cut of five cars. Then we are giving a set of cards, car cards, which go to each respective train car in our consist. Each cut of cars is assigned to one of a number of different divisions. So we just go out on a certain division, switch cars around, and then come back. We go out with a set of five and come back with a completely different set, if it all works right. Here are some of the switching moves that we had to make at the end of what is called the Warner subdivision. We had to spot one car in place and then take one car that should be in that spot already. Some of these industries require interesting switching and shove movements, which can be quite long sometimes, like this one where we had to shove cars all the way back in a, to a spur track. One thing we have to watch out for, and this is the second time that happened, was a passenger train. Better get out of the way of those so they can pass themselves because the freight trains are the ones not in the schedule. The passenger trains are. However, they don't really carry passengers. What's happening, guys? You passenger trains are always in the way. Oh, uh, what can I say? As you go to each location and switch cars in and out, at each station, so to speak, there is a sign that has a set of cards, a card holder, with each car that is at that location. You pick up a card for the one to replace the car that you just dropped off. By the end of it, put all your cards in the correct order and just head back to the main station. Since there are a lot of people out on the many different divisions of track out at the club during the meet, there tends to be a bit of a bottleneck when everyone comes into the station at once, especially when it comes to lunchtime, or even dinner for that matter. 
So, we have a signal system here for things to work out a bit better. So it goes one at a time, and people have a certain order to go in, who's first and who's next. Now, as you head into the yard, there's some various buttons that allow you to direct yourself to flip switches in order to get to the right yard. In this case, the freight yard and not the station. Stations for passenger trains only. Freight yard is for freight operation trains only. As well, this is where the trains get switched and moved about, ready for the next person to take a cut of cars and start the whole process all over again. This lasts for about three days or so. And next time, I will talk to you about passenger trains. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Nate's Vintage Trains. Keep it old school. Jesus loves you. And God bless you all.